All right, so this is gonna be a short video. Video number three for the night. <clears throat> a person named Jason Barton commented on, at least that's his YouTube name, commented on a video asking, saying, um, it was one of the videos talking about mileage or whatever. And um, I said, I drove 3,400 miles and got paid X amount. And he's like, so is that like between the two weeks or is that a week? Because I talked to another Walmart driver and he was just like, no, I get between 25 and 2,900 miles a week, blah, blah, blah. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna, gonna unpack that one a little bit. Um, there's several things that I asked him, um, which I'm still waiting for him to reply on. No big deal, it's whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and work on this video right now, and then, um, you know, hopefully he'll, hopefully he'll see this before he even sends that email that I asked him to send. Because I was gonna reach out to him, we're gonna chat it up and see exactly what this person told him. So, um, there's so many moving parts to this. Um, excuse my lips are a little chapped. You have to look at, um, I don't know what part of the country um, this gentleman lives in or the one that he even talked to. You have to look at tenure. You have to look at the, you know, the runs that this person is doing. You have to look at, you know, which days out fleet they are on, um, the hours that they have available. Um, you know, it's all, all of it, where the biggest, one of the biggest things I think is where they're at in the country. Um, because, uh, I'll put it this way, the, all those things make a significant difference. Um, you know, I'm on a 5-2 schedule. So we have a 5-2 schedule where you have a 5-2 schedule. You have a 5-2, 5-3, a 6-2, 6-3. Uh, we have people who are claims drivers. Um, it just depends on your seniority, your level, and what your DC has available for you to get whenever you're bidding for your route and the ones that you're eligible to get based off of your seniority level. Um, but also, you have to look at where you're at in the country. So I'll put it this way. Um, one of the biggest things that helped me decide that I want to go to Walmart is, like you guys remember when I dropped that video of me doing Walmart dedicated with ATS um, a while ago, went back just before the pandemic really kicked off. Um, I dropped that video. That was one of the biggest things that helped me decide that I wanted to drive for Walmart. Um, that being said, I was running out of the Mount Pleasant, Iowa, DC. Um, that out in that portion of the country, things are spread out so far. So it really was nothing to drive five to six hundred and twenty five hundred to six hundred and twenty five six hundred fifty miles in a day that was just the norm out there because everything is spread out uh, out here in the southeast you know um this last uh this last week i completed i think i completed like twenty two twenty three hundred miles and that's a big difference between uh, 2,900 to 3,200 miles in a week. You have to look at where they're at in the country. Um, some of them are, they're going to places where they might hit one or two stores a day, and then they might do a vendor and back to another DC. And now, even though they did three separate activities, they're gonna end up driving like 600 something odd miles in a day because of how far away everything is spread versus me it's not spread like that in the Southeast. So everything's way close together and bunched up. Um, so you're not really having to drive a ridiculous distance unless there's another DC that just needs Walmart drivers and they need, and you're just one of the, you just wanted they select to go up there and help out. I.e. like when I went to, like I said in another video that I'm gonna upload tonight, or at least attempt to upload, um, where I ended up going from Concord, North Carolina up to Mount Crawford, Virginia, that was a 300 mile drive. Um, and so I had like, that day I drove 600 miles even. And then every other day this week, it's, it was like, it was like 400 to 550 a day. And that's also me pushing it too. Um, so you have to look at where, um, where this person is located in the country. So unfortunately, sir, I don't know where you're at in the country, so I can't speak on what it would possibly be like. I can just simply say for where I'm at. That being said, 
how I manage my time, that seems to be what I'm getting. How somebody else manages their clock and the time they come into work and how they decide to run and whatnot and what time they start the day and all that, that's up to them. That greatly affects, you know, um, that greatly affects the miles that you get to. But with that being said, I also mentioned another video. Actually, the video that you commented on, it is not all about miles. One of my highest paying days, actually the highest paying day I've ever had with Walmart, I did less miles than majority of my other days. It is what it is. I drove like, mm, no, actually I would say it was a tad bit more miles than normal, but it was a lot of activity. So, um, yeah. I would not be so concerned with miles. Um, unless you're getting an, an insane number of miles each day with the maybe two or three activities, I would prefer to have a day where I'm driving 375 to 500 miles with like 20 activities. Those are gonna be days where you make really good money. I. I don't really want days where I'm driving 650 miles, but might do one or two dropping hooks. I prefer, like I said, 350 to 500 miles in the day and a bunch of activity because you get that good balance of both. And that's where you're going to start seeing the high pay rates. So, um, yeah, all that kind of stuff plays a factor into it. You have to look at the you have to look at the claims. You have to look at everything. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, you guys have a great night. And uh, I hope it all works out for you guys. I hope that you, uh, you know, you're able to, well, one, sorry, I'll be able to see this video and apply and tell me what you're, you know, who you talk to. Or at least I don't even know the driver's name, but at least what region that you're in in the country and go from there so uh anyway y'all have a great night i hope this kind of sheds light on the things a little bit more it's not always about miles uh especially for walmart it's not about miles it's about miles and activity but y'all have a great night and i'll see you guys on another video